very festive today and I'm kind of in the mood to build something really Christmassy in The Sims. I did a video yesterday where I had my Sim get rich from Christmas presents and as I was doing and filming that I was kind of realizing just how fun it is to decorate for Christmas in this game. So what I want to do today is build some sort of Christmassy cottage out here in Henford on Bagley and like really go all out with the decor. We combine this stuff from the free holiday pack with like all of the seasons decor and just really throw Christmas all over this thing. This might be a bad idea, but I was also kind of thinking that because it's snowy, water will freeze if I try and put a pond. So we could have like a cute frozen pond next door. Like there's a whole bunch of options to really embrace the winter vibes. Listen, I live in Florida, so I kind of get excited about the thought of making stuff wintry <laughs> when I have the opportunity. This is my dream. It's gonna be hot and rainy on Christmas day here, which nobody wants. Oh, this is horrible, isn't it? Okay, hold on. <laughs> I was thinking about maybe trying to have like some little dormers or something, but uh, this maybe doesn't look that good. Just give me a second, okay? Just give me a second, I'll make it work. They're gonna need to be scooted over. <laughs> they do not look good when they are that close together. But this way we can have some sort of like sneaky, secretive little loft space upstairs. I do hate this because the roof lines always look kind of weird when they're covered in snow and you've got like multiple roof pieces like this. It works really well for just like a normal average build, but it does not not work so well when you've got snow involved. Like that, no, that looks horrendous, doesn't it? You can't do that, Kayla, I'm sorry. Good idea in theory, terrible idea in practice. We could put fake dormers. I guess if we're gonna do fake dormers, I may as well also try and make the place bigger and we can just have windows on the side, I guess. Ew, I don't know if that looks good. There's something about the way the snow goes on that's kind of off. Maybe these are better. Something is also kind of off about that, I would say, but it's okay. We'll try and make it work. I like the idea of the white windows. What I, ooh, red. No, 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 no. Let's do white. I'll raise the place up on a foundation and then we wanna have a red front door. I don't know which one will be best. <laughs> <laughs> but I want one that's kind of fun. Hopefully wide as well. Oh, you know what? That almost works. No, it's bad. Never mind. Sorry. This one maybe? Then I get a pretty big wreath on top of it, maybe, perhaps. I don't know. Oh, it's gonna be perfect. Look at how that's coming together. Okay, okay. Now I've got a vision, so I'm feeling better about this. I do want to have some sort of stone on the outside. I don't really know exactly what it's gonna be like. I also forgot that Cottage Living doesn't have a foundation. Why do they do this to us? <laughs> Why is there no foundation in Cottage Living? Maybe we go for something like a little bit more simple? I know, I can see it. It's ugly. I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> don't worry, I can tell. I know it's bad. Can I come back to the outside? <laughs> Let me just think about the floor plan for a second. I'm gonna worry about the outside again in a second. Oh no. No. Oh, that's horrible. Okay. Yikes. So they have to be lower. That's the highest up I can put it. Well, that is silly and looks bad. Okay. That sort of complicates things. I guess I build a wall and we just ignore that part. You don't look there. Okay. Yikes. This is going really badly. Okay, so up here, what I'm thinking is maybe we need to have some sort of staircase that will like wrap around. If I have to sneak it into the fireplace nook, I'm not even worried about that if I'm being honest. That also might be dumb though. So hold on, <laughs> let me try this again. Okay, this is not my finest moment. Like this build is not really thriving actually. Oh, okay. Maybe that could be a bathroom and then this could be a bedroom and we just have the one upstairs. That might actually be kind of okay. And then, oh, that's bad. <laughs> this, real bad. Just trust the process. Sometimes things don't go according to plan and it takes a little bit of effort to make stuff work. That's normal and to be expected. Any ideas why that happens? Serious question. <laughs> any, any thoughts on why that's the case? Because I don't really get it. It has deleted my stuff like multiple times for some reason, and I don't really know why. All right, here's the current state of things. I have changed the wallpaper. I don't know if it looks bad or not. <laughs> it might need to be a lighter color, but I don't really like how that looks, so I don't know. I also wanna try to get a decor box quick and see what the lights look like, because I know that we wanna have like Eve decorations of some pretty dangly lights. So once I've seen what those look like, oh my God. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I want them up here. I know I can't have them, but look at how stupid that looks. How about the little small ones? This is just, it simply is not the vibe. 
Okay, everyday foundation decorations? Do you think I could put garland on the foundation? Try it. Is that Vlad? Are you kidding? Go away. I'll just let him be there. It's fine. Well, I'm gonna put landscaping there on the foundation, so the garland might not be good. I'm gonna come back to that part. I just kind of wanted to see what we were looking at, like what the situation was like. Okay, so at the minute, here's kind of what I'm thinking for this layout downstairs. I realize it's looking a bit of a mess, <laughs> but my initial thought is that maybe this part becomes a bathroom. We have that downstairs. This could be a bedroom downstairs. It's kind of a weird shape, but it happens. Obviously, we had that upstairs bedroom and the upstairs bathroom from earlier. I guess I'll need to get some windows up here. I don't know. I don't know about that. We'll see. We shall see how that goes. Whatever works. We'll just do whatever works. I haven't really gotten to that point yet though, so I don't really know what it is that does work. But anyway, on the inside, I'm picturing that this little area becomes the kitchen. So I might wrap them around kind of like around this wall. I thought that this section would make a nice formal dining room. I'm not gonna use that table, but just take my word for it, something like that. And then this part becomes the living room. I wanna use that Christmassy fireplace this one. And then it's all nice. It's open. There's plenty of space. We've got two bedrooms, two bathrooms. It should be okay, I feel like, inside. So that means we can start furnishing now. And I want to use some like fancy wood floors, I think. I want this to be nice and very cozy inside. Should I steal space from this? What if this part becomes like a little hallway on purpose? And I close it off a little bit on purpose. <laughs> Cause maybe I could stick a desk in this little nook. Oh, I like to do stuff like that. Okay, that might be kind of good. Lots of little teeny tiny windows on these back sides. <laughs> that one has green, this one has red. I don't know which is better. I want it to be very green and red <laughs> on the inside. And we have options. Like we have curtains that were basically made for this purpose. I want to try, I think if I could, I would like to have regular curtains and these kinds of curtains. That maybe doesn't look good though, to have the garland wrapped in there. Maybe the garland should go around the door because that actually fits perfectly. <laughs> Somehow that looks like it was made for this door. I don't really love these counters, but I do think that they work for this purpose. And then I want to get an island as well. Or I guess it's like a peninsula, not so much an island, but you know, whatever. <laughs> I'll get some nice red bar stools. I am picturing, oh, wait a minute. I hadn't really considered this, but growing together has red appliances. <laughs> Red and gold. Do I dare use those? I don't know. I think it's kind of bad, but also when, when else? Like, would I ever use those another time? I don't think so. I can't imagine a time that I would use these if not right now. So I might as well do it. I don't like how there's a backsplash, but not across the whole thing. <laughs> kind of bothers me. Some of this stuff is kind of icky too. Like, I actually don't love this light. <laughs> I think that is not my favorite thing in the game, but maybe we could try it anyway. Or maybe that's better for the dining room because it'll be over a big table. Okay, I'll use slightly simpler pendant lights there. We don't need to have red ones there too. I'm just starting to grab literally everything that I know I'm gonna wanna use. <laughs> oh, the little Christmas doormat. See, that's so cute. We need to have that. I've been known to put like these little guys in the windows. I don't know if completely blocking the window is like the way to go with this. That might be too much. Maybe I won't do that. <laughs> Let's hold off. What if I put wreaths on the windows, on the big windows instead, so they aren't blocking the door? And then I'm kind of picturing in here, I wanna have garland like everywhere everywhere, okay? My initial thought was that it would be nice to have built-in bookcases along this wall, but that's not gonna work because they can't fit in past there. We could maybe have them on this wall instead. Oh, no, 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 no. What am I even saying? Don't do that. If you're gonna do built-ins, we're doing them next to the fireplace. <laughs> the fireplace actually demands built-ins, I've decided. I will give them a nice big TV above it as well. Should it come in white? I'm confused because the white definitely matches the fireplace better, but does it match the rest of the house better? Also, I am completely blocking the bookcases with this Christmas tree. That's okay. That's what my house looks like right now, so <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry. I'm putting a couple things in, like this rug. I got this kind of ugly green sofa, but I like it. I think it's ugly in a good way, and I think I'll hang garland up all the way across this back wall because it helps to add some more greenery up there. Back when I was younger, which sounds so weird to say because I'm talking about The Sims 4, but back in the day, I used to put a little train set like around the Christmas tree. This was like one of my favorite things to do because we didn't have that much stuff. We didn't even have 
the seasons pack at this time. So I would really make do with what we had and I would try and make a train set that went around it and then just put toys and like teddy bears and all that stuff everywhere. I am a little bit concerned that I'm overdoing it, but I'll put the presents just in this front corner so that your Sims can actually access them. Although saying that, I don't know if they can. It'll be fine. If they can't access them, just place another pile. I don't know how many people want to have their Sims live in a house like this anyway. <laughs> I don't know how often you're going to be actually playing in this house. It's mostly just fun to build. I have built many a Christmas house over the years and I don't know if I've ever actually played in a single one of them. That looks really comfy actually. I really like how this room is coming together. That seems so cozy to me. I want to get some kind of fancy gold lighting. Maybe like one of these little lights because that's very warm and cozy too. We are going to need a coat rack by the front door somewhere. And unfortunately, the holiday pack does have a dining table, but I'm a little bit worried that it's too big. I'm tempted to use it, but I'm nervous that if I do use it, it takes up way too much space. I guess I could possibly put it horizontal like this and then we mix and match and just have chairs. Ooh, that's kind of ugly. <laughs> Maybe I'll have it match the fireplace. I don't know. This is a, a weird one. <laughs> it might not be good. It's hard to say. I think we need something kind of plain for the rug if I'm going to use such a dramatic tablecloth, but all of them don't really work. That's horrendous. So that's not going to happen. That is also horrendous. So that also cannot happen. That's horrendous too, but in a different way. <laughs> I don't really like how it takes up like the whole space, but it does help tie the colors together. <laughs> I don't know. I realize it's a real stretch. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This, okay. This might be more appropriate. <laughs> You might have to scoot it over just a smidge, but that's okay. This is a tight walkway, but that's also okay. Christmas takes priority. You don't need to walk through the house. You just need to have Christmas decorations. <laughs> Thoughts on garland hung over this painting? Because I kind of like it. <laughs> I think that's kind of cool. And now I'm wondering if maybe I should get another fireplace. We can't use the wide one, but maybe like one of the smaller fireplaces and we just stick it in the corner back here. More cozy vibes. I don't know. Can you come light the fireplace? If you light them both, it's going to look better. What do you... Whoa, poorly decorated. That is insulting. After everything that I have done for you, you think it's poorly decorated? By definition, it is the opposite of poorly decorated. It is extremely well decorated. Does this not slot to that? Oh no, really? Okay, I wanted to put this up here, but I wanted to try and slot it to something so that it wouldn't be floating because it is floating right now. That's one of our first, I would argue, poor decorations that we've had so far. That's not ideal. I'll give them that. Thoughts on snowflakes? behind this because I personally think that that is really cute. Maybe I could hang up snowflakes like in the kitchen as well. Perhaps I get a full cabinet here. I need to see less wall. Tile situation? Mm, <laughs> it's not so good. I don't know if it's gonna work. We have a couple options. There are some green ones, which I mean, eh. We could also maybe go slightly more subtle. Like this is kind of a plain white. I don't know if that's better or not. It has a little bit of pattern still, so it might be okay. Oh, this is cute. I don't normally use that. I think they can still walk through there. And then it matches this light, so that's kind of good. Should I use just a really expensive painting? <laughs> this one's $8,000. I actually think that this one kind of feels like it's the right vibes to me. Does this fit around it again? Oh, that's so cute. Forget this garland. This is way better. That looks adorable. Would it be so completely ridiculous if I put another mini Christmas tree? in the dining room. I think people do that. People do that in real life all the time. I have two Christmas trees in my house. There's one in here and then one downstairs and that one's not even mini. <laughs> That's a full size Christmas tree. I'm gonna try green. The problem is this is not really the appropriate shade of green. If we're gonna do green, I need it to be a little bit more of a sage color. This one's a bit too light. And see like that, that does not look cute with this red, that just looks terrible. No, I actually think it was better before. This is better because it has the pretty fancy trim and this house is pretty and fancy, so it needs pretty and fancy trim. And if that means we have to have a weird pastel green, then so be it. <laughs> I don't really care. Okay, here's what I've got so far for our little tiny office nook. <laughs> I think it's kind of cute actually with the desk and stuff. I'll put a clock on the wall maybe. We could probably benefit from another set of bookshelves as well because bookshelves are just cozy and we can get some kind of nice ones like these. That takes up a lot of space. <laughs> <laughs> that is very tight. I made the lighting a little bit more yellow tone too, which I also think helps maybe. I'm gonna try in here some garland along this main wall. I don't really know what sort of decor one would put in a kitchen like this especially when you're only using Christmas decor. Maybe this shelf with some pots 
tiny snowman. Put him on the porch, he's cute. Would it be absolutely ridiculous of me to line this with nutcrackers. Maybe because the nutcrackers will in fact block the TV. <laughs> so it's it's maybe ridiculous to do this because it is gonna make it so that you can't always see the show, but it's only blocking it a little bit. So it could be worse. Oh, the mistletoe. Oh my God, put that above the door. We can put this above the sad and boring doors because look at how cute that looks. Is it weird to have mistletoe on every single one of your doors? I think the answer is probably yes, <laughs> but I don't know. I have never hung up mistletoe in real life. So like, what do I know about that? Obviously nothing. That looks horrible. Just so silly. I don't even want to have curtains there. I put them on this wall because the upstairs is making me feel sad. I think the upstairs is kind of boring and, and disappointing. So I'm trying to make it like less so. It's really tight. So you can't really put that much because it's going to make your Sims unable to walk around. Oh, how about this? Big fancy light. That takes up a lot of room. Okay, let's just leave it like that because I'm scared of putting too much else and then your Sims not being able to walk around in here. I think for sure we have to use the red tile. I always do this same tile in like all of my Christmas builds, but come on. How could you not use that in here? I don't like this tile. So if I'm going to do a Christmas build, I have to use it now or else I'm never going to. <laughs> this is our one and only shot. Do any of you you decorate your bathrooms for various holidays? Because that is not something that I have done. I'll be completely honest with you. <laughs> Nor is it something that I think I probably ever will do, but it's fun to do in The Sims. I don't usually ever go this far out to decorate with my game. So it's kind of an interesting task to try and figure out stuff to put in here. Like realistically, who is hanging up garland in their bathroom? We have those little doormat things. This might look cute as a bath mat if we put that in here. Okay, here's the first bathroom. I'm probably gonna do something very similar in the downstairs bathroom, but I think I might have this one be like a half bath so it won't have a tub or anything. It's just gonna have the sink and the toilet. The window's in an annoying place for putting a shower. I guess I could put only a tub. I hate this because you can't really put a shower there because it blocks the window. I can't put it over here because it blocks the door and I refuse to put the door in the corner because I just hate how it looks in the corner. So no shower for these Sims, sorry. <laughs> oh, look at how cute the garland looks above the window. That is adorable. I think that might be like my new favorite item. I I don't think I realized how much I liked that until just now. But since I've been using it in this build, I feel like it's working really well and I really like it. I need to put that in more of my Sims houses. I just in general need to make more of an effort to actually decorate my Sims houses for holidays as they go through in game. It, it really just isn't something that I think about. Like oftentimes when I'm playing the Sims, it'll be a holiday and I'm like, oh, it's a holiday. And then I just don't do anything for it. But I think it's cute to like decorate for fake Halloween <laughs> and do all that stuff with them. Most of the downstairs is done now except I haven't really decorated the kitchen much. I wanna go through and try and find them some more decor. I feel like I really need to step out the decoration game because it's kind of boring. I'm getting so annoyed at this stuff slotting. I'm just trying to fix this. I wanna put a couple cute little things on the counter, sort of like this coffee pot, which I actually dislike a lot, but <laughs> it comes in this gold color that kind of matches. I don't know, it doesn't match that well, but I like the idea of it. I think it's a fun idea in theory, especially with like everything else being kind of gold. And I never use the swatch, so I feel like I may as well do it now when I'm doing this whole Christmas thing. But we've got a couple cute little pieces of clutter. I also put some little Christmas cards on the counter and I'm worried about putting too much else because I want to have at least two counters that your Sims can use. And I don't know if they'll use this one. All right, I think the whole downstairs is done. I think my favorite part by far is the living room. I really like how this all looks together. I want to do this room as a kid's room and then this one upstairs as the primary bedroom. But now that I think about it, there isn't really space. <laughs> There might not be enough room for a double bed, actually. Uh, oh. Does it fit better down here? No, not really. <laughs> okay. What if I put it in the corner? It'll fit in the corner. It's just not ideal in the corner, but that's all right. Okay, this will be the primary bedroom and it's gonna be downstairs, actually. That's what I said. I said it was gonna be downstairs the whole time, right? This is kind of spring. It's not really screaming Christmas, but in a way it is. So I might try that. They have all those little dividers and I never, ever, ever, ever use these. I wonder if now could be a good time because we could try to have some privacy for the bedroom and then maybe have like a dressing area or something. I don't know, it's kind of a stretch. I'm just throwing out some concepts, okay? I'm just trying to think of stuff that might work. This place is gonna be so expensive. This is so ridiculous. <laughs> There is no reason for me to have made a house this pricey. I'm gonna do the same thing with the picture and the cute garland. None of the pictures really fit. Oh, this one could be good. Okay, let's try that. Picture and cute garland. What do you think would happen if I tried to make a tree tiny and then put it on the dresser? Cause that's kind of cute and people do that. They put little tiny Christmas trees up. Maybe I put garland above this little mirror wall. Um, I need a rug. 
but I don't really think that I like any of my options. I could try that. We need some more green in here too. Literally anything green would probably be good. Ooh, maybe not anything green. What about this guy? <gasps> Should I put him in the kitchen? <laughs> I never use this thing. I'm gonna try that. That's kind of cute. Okay, I'm putting a couple little bits of bedroom clutter, like the glasses and stuff in there. I wanted to use this thing, but there's not really any space for it. We have a very limited amount of space in this house. It's it's uh kind of small, in case you haven't noticed. Actually, it's kind of really small. Oh, I want an apron. These aprons have a Christmas swatch, don't they? <gasps> we have to use that. Forget this wreath. Maybe I get a little cozy reading chair. Oh, that kind of fits in. You know what? This room is weird and kind of ugly, but in a fun way. So I'm gonna keep it. And now I'll do the kids room upstairs. <laughs> so in this kids room, I might actually try to get a different color curtain because we do have Mmm, never mind. The green's not gonna work. No green curtain. False alarm. I do think that maybe this bed could be good because it kind of has like Christmas vibes a little bit to it. Oh, I don't like that. Should I try it? I've never used that before. <laughs> I never, ever, ever used that rug and I've definitely never used that swatch. Let's try and do it and see if we can make it work. Green lamp though. Mmm, this is weird. <laughs> this is maybe a bad idea. What if I got the big curtains again, even though the windows look bad with it? Also, what if I just made the windows bad. Let's just put them all the way across. What's the harm in that? We definitely need a dollhouse. That's like everybody's dream or at least well my dream. <laughs> it's my dream to have a giant dollhouse like this so I want my sims to have one. I realize this is blocking it so that the sims can't get to it but again I remind you no one's gonna play in this house right? It's all just about vibes. <laughs> So if we can give them as many toys as possible, it's for the best. They also cannot have a dresser. There's not enough space for a dresser. So I might give them like a skinny little bookshelf and that's it. Oh, this would have been good. No, that looks terrible. Never mind. Sorry. Whoa. Can I use that down here instead? I like it a lot less, but I think that's okay. Cause it's supposed to be Christmas. Oh no. <laughs> Let's try it. Let's try green curtains and then maybe like a green rug or we could have the ah uh, that no 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 different wallpaper fun idea in theory terrible idea in practice <laughs> that was so scary no 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 we can just use the same wallpaper like it's fine this looks good it's a nice room and now we just have the entire exterior left to do which yikes <laughs> just giant yikes about the whole exterior part we are going to need to really fill this in with some trees i think that's the most important part because it needs to look very lush and and pretty and then i'm kind of thinking i want to get some sort of little fence I'm not sure which fence or where exactly we should put it, but I'm okay with closing in a lot of the yard because what I would like to do is have her set decorations on the fence because we could hang lights up on the fence too. This fence might not be good because I think it might be low. It depends where it places. No, that's so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, perfect. I want the house to have more lights so bad. <laughs> <laughs> so every little thing that we can do is gonna help. And then I'm gonna put some greenery. Obviously in real life, maybe this is not the most realistic thing in the world, but it's okay because it looks cute in The Sims and this is a Sims build. At the end of the day, the goal is just for it to look cute in The Sims. No one said it had to be realistic. <laughs> okay, that gives us a relatively small area to work with like here for that little tiny icy pond I wanted. Oh my God, that's so deep. No, 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 smaller. How does that look? Really bad. What the heck? Go away. It's hard for me to do this when I can't see the ground. <laughs> it's like really difficult to figure this out. I feel like it's a lot more difficult than usual trying to do this in the snow. I don't know how to explain it. It can just be something simple like that. It doesn't need to be a lot. And then I need to add in all of our other outdoor decorations, which yes, will include some more bushes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know this is so like not normal. I'm digging around looking for bushes that don't die in the winter just so we can have some texture. Cause some of these, like this one, for example, dead. We do also need to have an actual chimney because I want like the smoke to come out of it. I want the vibes from that. The holiday pack has this little tree. This has lights on it. We could use that. How's it look at nighttime? Oh, <laughs> it's cute. Do you think I can hang up snowflakes all the way across this whole wall? I don't think it looks good. I want to have red ones, but nothing really works like that. There's like little flowers. We have the sandals. There's even stars, but I want them to come in red and green and they don't. I'll put the decor box in the corner so you can access it more easily if you ever play here. And now I'm wondering, 
This is maybe a really bad idea too, but I'm kind of curious if I can put wreaths up on these guys. There are people in real life that hang up a wreath in every single one of their windows, so that's kind of what I'm channeling right now. I am not one of those people. <laughs> I don't have that many wreaths, but it looks cool, doesn't it? Isn't that pretty? I'm not sure how much to put around this. I keep thinking I need to decorate it like a pond, but what are you gonna do? Put like reeds? No, that looks terrible. <laughs> With the winter, it just doesn't, it doesn't really work. I do need to paint the roof trim before I forget. Make sure we get all the pieces painted. And then there needs to be something on these roofs too, because they're supposed to be flat, but I don't want them to be terrible looking. And then maybe last, just a couple of lights outside, even just some simple ones by the front door, and that might be the whole house done. I'll upload it to the gallery as Christmas Cottage. No, no I won't. You know why? Because I didn't put a trash can yet. <laughs> I'll put it over here by the front so it's easy access for you. Okay, <laughs> now I will put it on the gallery as a Christmas cottage. <laughs> two beds, two baths and it is up on the gallery for you. I think it's mostly cottage living and like seasons and probably a lot of cats and dogs. I don't know, I use a lot of packs. Oh my God, Ugh. Home Chef Hustle. Oh, the wallpaper, yeah, see, so many packs. But it was worth it for Christmas because look how cute the wreaths look. It, it, was, it was a good choice. I needed this. I needed a nice little festive Sims build. This was really fun for me. I posted a kind of festive video on YouTube yesterday too, if you want to go back and watch that. Hopefully you enjoyed this because I really liked going through and decorating all of this. I think the interior looks so fun. This is my dream. My dream is to have this much Christmas decor, but like who has the space to store all this? You'd have to get a storage unit to have this for the rest of the year. It's just not practical. Like these people, where, where are they putting it? Where's the storage? I guess in real life, you might have some storage in the eaves, right? In real life, they might have like a door that gives them access to the eaves and they have kind of some tight closet access. The problem is <laughs> in our Sims build, the dormers are cutting into it. So that's not really gonna work, is it? But you can pretend. The Sims is all about playing pretend anyway. Okay, well, I think on that note, I'm gonna end this video right here. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Merry Christmas if you celebrate. I'm not posting any more Christmas content this weekend. I've got some completely unrelated, but still fun builds coming up this weekend. One of them is horse apartments. So <laughs> stay tuned for that and I will catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. Oh my goodness, I am about to leave to get my hair cut and I am so unbelievably anxious, you guys. I'm like kind of shaky about this. You have to be nice to me about it, okay? When I post the video tomorrow, you have to be nice.